Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and today our today's concern is item configuration like for the purpose of recognizing revenue, uh, how can we configure the item record for this purpose? So let's begin. So NetSuite order to revenue workflow begins with the sales order or invoices and it includes certain document types that has sales order, invoices, cash sales, return authorization, credit memos, cash refunds, etc. So all these uh, documents uh, are required, uh, means uh, for sales order, we are required certain kinds of items. And when ARM, that is advanced revenue management feature is used by default, so revenue arrangements are created based on the configuration that we specify on the item records. And uh, various kinds of item records are used to configure the ARM features that are assembly items uh, that can be serialized or lot numbered items. Kit package items can also be used for that purpose. And non-inventory item for sale or resale. Then we can have the service item for sale or resale. So we can uh, use these items for the purpose of recognizing revenue. So as mentioned earlier that uh, for automating the revenue recognition process, we have to set revenue recognition rules. Then we have to set items and we have to set fair value prices. So we are done with the uh, revenue recognition rules in our previous session. Today I'll be telling you about how can we configure the item uh, details with the uh, revenue recognition features. So as uh, mentioned that uh, the revenue recognition can be uh, configured for the non-inventory items. So for creating those items, we can go into list, accounting, items and new. So here you can see that a list of items are given here uh, based on our preferences. We can uh, create items that can be non-inventory items that can be service item. So we can select that. So for today's uh, per demo purpose, I have uh, taken this non-inventory item for sale. Its name is given here. You can see that all the information is uh, quite similar with that of the previous item record creation. Subsidy has been provided. We can check this include children box so that the uh, child subsidies would be using this item record. Now for configuring this item record for the purpose of re revenue recognition, we have to uh, get into accounting sub tab. So here we have to define the income account and deferred revenue account that would be affected whenever any sales order or invoices are, uh, were, uh, will be created. So what kind of account would be debited? So we can select an income account from this drop down. Usually you can see the by default, uh, the 4000 revenue account has been selected. Similarly, we can select a deferred revenue account for it that would be, you know, debited or credited here. So the, we can set our uh, preferences or accounting preferences here under the accounting sub tab. Then moving towards the revenue recognition amortization. So here we can have two sub tabs that is about the basic revenue recognition and revenue recognition templates here. So under the revenue recognition templates, we have to select a template uh, to associate with this item on the sales transaction. Then this VSOE uh, price is like vendor specific objective evidence and uh, this is used uh, for uh, the by the companies that sell software products and services with multiple uh, elements or bundles. So we can, if we are using that, uh, if we are dealing in that uh, scenario, so we can define a VSOE price for that. If we go down here under the advanced uh, revenue recognition sub tab, so here we have to define the allocation type. For that, we have to select an allocation type to associate with this item on sales transaction. So here we have these three options. If we select exclude, so this item would be excluded from recognizing revenue. This is about the normal and if uh, the item is of uh, a software nature, so we can define that uh, allocation type here. So I am selecting this normal here. This item revenue category is a, uh, we can say that here we have to define uh, is a category, is a classification for items that have similar characteristics and similar uh, revenue allocation requirements and it is used in the fair value price list usually. We can select that. We have these options available. We can select any of the item revenue category from here. This whole revenue recognition is like 
we can check this box in order to delay the uh, recognition of revenue from the sale of this item if we check this box then the revenue recognition will be uh, you know uh, going on held will be gone to hold or delay and this revenue recognition rule as we have uh, seen in our previous session how can we create the revenue recognition rule so here we have to select the revenue recognition rule that can be used by default for this item in a revenue arrangement and we have to be very careful while selecting this rule uh, because uh, the rule that we select has an amount source that is appropriate for the value that we select in the uh, create revenue plans on so this field and this field are inter interlinked with each other so we have to uh, while selecting the rules for it we have to be very careful you can see that these are the various recognition rules that have been created and we have to uh, select a proper uh, recognition rule for it this is uh, we can say that this is our actual uh, revenue recognition rule uh, moving down for revenue recognition forecast rule so this rule is used for forecasting the revenue recognition plan we can use the similar rule that we have used here or we can use a different rule for the purpose of forecasting uh, that is based on the requirement so uh, a similar rule can be used for both the purposes then comes the revenue allocation group so this is used in group sum functionalities in the fair value formulas this is mainly used for while uh, we are creating a fair value formula so this uh, we can define that allocation group here then comes the create revenue plans on so here we have to select the event that triggers the creation of revenue recognition plan and that event should match with the amount source of the item revenue recognition rule i have told you that this field and this field are interlinked with each other so whatever uh, we have selected under the revenue recognition rule uh, this you know this should match with the uh, option that we have selected under the revenue recognition plan so here we have these options uh, and you can see by default the revenue arrangement creation is selected and for this purpose revenue plans can be created when the revenue arrangement is created if we go down here for the billing so under which uh, revenue recognition will be created when the sales order is built or it can also be created from the standalone cash sales invoices etc if we go down here for the fulfillment so here uh, uh, the plans will be created when the items or the orders get fulfilled and this, this option is available only when the advanced shipping feature is enabled and the rest of the features and options that we are seeing is for uh, if we are dealing in the project and also we can use these options here relating to project but by default uh, this create revenue plans on is uh, selected as revenue arrangement creation now if we go down here under the direct revenue posting so this uh, checkbox is checked to disable the arm feature for this item and uh, when this uh, box is checked so no revenue elements or no revenue arrangements would be created and when this box is checked the deferred revenue account on the accounting sub tab is disabled we will not be able to uh, means have the posting of this uh, revenue element or revenue plan and if we check this box that is eligible for contingent revenue handling so if any uh, future uncertainty is there so we can uh, allow we can assign this item to that uh, particular contingency by checking this box so in this way we can uh, set the preferences and we can configure the item uh, record for the purpose of recognizing revenue and after this we can click on save so whenever any sales transaction or any invoices are created for this particular item that is extension hash 005 so these uh, based on these configuration that we have made below the revenue will be recognized accordingly so we are done with the second step today that is item uh, configuration for the purpose of revenue uh, recognition so in case of any doubts and consultations, you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.